Hi, I'm Ron Hawkins. I'm here today with Julie Guthrie, Hall of Fame sculptor. Hi, Julie. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Thanks for coming by the Reaper Studio. Let's talk a little bit about your ReaperCon classes. Specifically, I'd like to talk about the how to sculpt a spooky tree class. That seems to be a very popular class, and you're going to teach that again this year? I am. It's, it's good for basic to advanced. It's good for any sort of diorama and or um, war game terrain. Great. Let's take a look at basically what people are going to get when they take the How to Build a Spooky Tree class. This is uh, the woven picture frame wire, and it's an easy way to make trees that you can't always find a branch that fits into your diorama and looks right. This way you can make the tree for the per perfect shape, the perfect size. So picture frame wire, you can just get this at Walmart or Walmart, any hobby store? Lowe's. Um, any home improvement type place? Yes, any place that sells so. frames also has it, but you okay. pay more. Okay. Uh, it's woven. You, you don't want the one that has plastic around it, and you just kind of unweave it and then weave it back the way you want. And so here you're just sort of picking out those wires and pushing them yes. into a natural... Right. What I'm doing is picking out and unweaving the part that will form the, br the far ends of the branches. Okay. And so here you're just sort of picking that out. Yes. It's uh, kind of complicated sometimes because it fights with you. Okay, so I see you've got, what is that, is the first part that you've plucked out or pulled out, is that a branch or is that a trunk? What you do is two, two bits of wire okay. and you twist them together where the trunk is and then they, they branch out and then you keep branching it out as you go. Okay, and so again, just taking your tool and just plucking away. Now when, you, when students take your class, do they have to bring tools? No, everything is provided. Uh, you get a little packet of all the materials you need, and I will provide the tools. But we don't get to keep the tools, do we? Not these tools. No. Okay, too valuable. What I'm doing now Trade is secrets. I'm, I'm plucking out the roots. Okay. That will. So that'll be the that's the, the roots. That's yes. the bottom of the tree. So one of the wires is longer than the other. So now I'm sticking the two together right above where the roots would be, doing it badly. <laughs> and the good thing about picture frame wire, it's nice and stiff and you can wrap it and bend it, it'll hold its shape pretty well? It holds its shape pretty well and you can just keep rebending it until it's in the exact spooky position you, you want. Gotcha. Okay. So what is this that you're, uh, you're about to apply on the I am, tree? This is modeling paste. This is where it gets messy because it will get all over everything, as you, the studio will show. So this is not the kind of paste we used in grade school and we ate? Uh, no, I don't. Uh, oh, I, don't you don't recommend eating this? No, it's not really very tasty at Gotcha, all. gotcha, okay. As, from experience? Well, like I said, it gets all over everything. Okay, okay. I try not to get it in my mouth. And so, is this a necessary thing here where you do you have to be neat? Can you just slap it on and just kind of You can just, just let slap it, go? it on and you'll just keep going back again and again trying to get it to stick where you want it to and not where it wants to. Yeah, it sticks it sticks straight to the wire. Yeah. I am now sticking a piece of chenille stem or pipe cleaner to make the trunk a little thicker. Okay. So then twist all three together. So that's how you get the the, uh, the volume of your the tree volume trunk of the trunk, and then the there's some other bits that we put on to 
make it as thick as you want. You can also put more more branches in depending on how big and thick you want. Now your uh, your modeling place you're using just is that water soluble? It is water soluble, and a matter of fact, I didn't have the water up when I was working here. It works a little better if your fingers are wet. I see. Okay. And as you can see, bits are flying everywhere. <laughs> It is a very sloppy, messy thing. Now, is this wood glue? or That is wood glue, is wood glue. a little smoother. Um, it smooths everything down and allows me to stick. That's Halloween spider webbing. Oh. Um, just batting, basically? Just, yeah, basically batting works really well. Um, it produces a fairly nice effect once it's covered with glue and... I can see it's modeling case, to your finger. Yes. <laughs> like I said, it's it's messy. Okay. And then when you mash all that together with the wood glue, it produces a fairly nice bark effect. So it's the, it's the modeling paste with the ch chenille, then the uh, wood glue, and then the batting, and then more wood glue. When yes. It looks like that's kind of yes. what you're doing. And again, there's no real You'll process to it. You're just sort no. of feeling your way through it. Yes, it's just. This kind of works. Um, the two-part epoxy works really well, but it's too messy for a class. Mm -hmm. You think this is bad? That's worse. Now the the modeling putty, it's it dries with in air and no matter. Not not the putty, the epoxy, yeah. the liquid epoxy, five-minute stuff, uh, produces a really nice bark effect. But I don't like getting that all over my hands. It's not very healthy. Okay, so here. You've got the, your roots, you've got your branches. What I'm doing now is you've got that all fanned out, and now I'm going to retwist. So you can see how from the trunk, there are two branches that come up. Then you make that next bundle into two branches and twist it back. And then you go up a little higher and take and split those and twist it. I see. So Makes it a little more natural. Yeah, what you're doing is just slowly working out to the very ends of the branches until there's just two wires. Is there a reason you're using pliers just to get a, just a cleaner? Pliers or um, tweezers just to be able to hang on to it and where it twists. If you've More got, control. Your yeah. fingertips don't give you the, the yes. exact. You can do it with fingertips, but it's a little little more complicated okay. to do it that way. And, okay. But you can see how, just look how different that is from the very beginning. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we're going to jump ahead a little bit. Now, at this, by this point, you've been twisting on it for a few minutes. you twisted your roots, you twisted your branches, you got your stuff on there, and now it's time to put it on a base. So what size base is that that you've got in the, in the demonstration here? I think that's a two and a half okay. round. I uh, don't really remember. You've based it. Uh, you've based your tree. You've added, what have you done to the, to the base there? Uh, that's a lot of cart, cork and uh, the clay uh, cat litter. Mm -hmm. I, I'm going to be giving a sprue of some little things to put in your tree and on the ground, which you can only get in the class. Oh, fantastic. A little unique little critters. So you can, use, you can use the tree to frame your diorama. Yeah, that looks great. And you've gone and primed this one gray to get a, just to, to show what it looks like without all the, the chenille and other the colors sticking through. Yes. That looks great. Well, Julie, thanks for sitting down today. I appreciate it. And we'll see you at ReaperCon. Thank you.